with so many out there wanting to learn coding and get into the IT sector. Well, IT jobs are lucrative today and will remain so in future as well. So coding skills will always be in great demand. You know, coding allows us to create things like website, app, video games. It can also make you smarter, can get you a job, can also make you rich. But learning coding skills for the beginners can be challenging. Not because it is tough to understand, not because it is complicated, but because there are so many options available for programming languages. Some of them are easy, some are difficult for the beginners, some are for those wanting to become UI UX or web designer. Some are for those wanting to work as a data analyst or data scientist. And many other languages are for software developer and engineers. So choosing a language to learn first depends on the goal you want to achieve. But without learning a few things, you cannot get a basic understanding of how to take it forward, where to focus your efforts and which way to go. So my suggestion is to start with something easy. This way you won't lose interest and feel more confident. Your learning journey would be smooth and comfortable. And most importantly, you'll be able to decide if you want to become a software developer, web designer, or a data analyst. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five easiest coding languages to learn and kickstart your IT career. Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I'm Nishant. And before I start, if you have any questions, feedback or any suggestions for topics that you want me to cover in my next video, let me know that in the comment section. All right, so let's get started now. And the first one is HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS are the easiest front end programming languages. They are easy to learn and you will also enjoy learning them. Yes, you can start picking up HTML in a matter of hours. And within one to two weeks time, you will get comfortable with these languages. With HTML, you can create your own website. In fact, every website you visit is constructed using HTML and CSS. And there are many digital resources available to learn HTML and CSS. If you want to begin your journey for web development, these two languages are the first and the most important languages you will want to learn. And the next one is JavaScript. JavaScript is the world's most popular programming language, beginner friendly and easy to learn as well. It is also called default language of the internet. It makes web page interactive. JavaScript is also versatile and is very useful tool for those who want to expand their skill set into other languages like C++, Java, Python, etc. Using JavaScript, you can write front-end coding using Angular and React. You can also work on back-end coding using Node.js. You can also create desktop applications and mobile apps. And by learning JavaScript, you open yourself to a lot of job opportunities. Tons of material available online. There are a lot of communities and tutorials online. So it is very easy to learn. And the next one is C. C is amongst the oldest programming languages. Every modern programming language has some of its root in C programming language. It is the first language that is taught in the college. If you want to learn C++ or Java, you should begin with basics of C. Being acquainted with the C basics, learning C++ and Java would be easier. Look, if you know how to drive a manual car, you can easily drive an automated one. C has the similar benefit. And the code of C is easy to understand and beginners won't find it difficult. And the next one is Python. Python is a simple English syntax and is easy to learn as well. Many non-programmers such as data analyst, accountant, scientist have been using Python for a variety of day-to-day -day tasks such as organizing finances, managing data, etc. It is designed to be used in a range of applications, including data science, web development, automation, machine learning, etc. Because of its versatility and beginner's friendliness, it is one of the most used programming languages today. 
It is also open source, which is free to use and distribute even for the commercial purposes. And it has large and active communities. And the next one is Java. Java is beginner friendly in nature. The syntax of Java matches with C and C++. So before starting Java, learn the basics of C and C++. Java is the most popular known programming language for developing a wide range of software and applications. Java developers are one of the highly paid developers in the IT industry. So these are five languages which you can start learning. That's all for now. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.